Welcome to the part B of lecture 12. In this video, we are going to do some hands-on. So, in this hands-on, uh, we are going to load the libra dataset library, which has the which has the iris dataset. So, if you go to the load the uh, you write iris. So, Edgar Anderson's iris datasets it is also known as fisher's iris dataset um, so it has iris is a english flower which has three subspecies one is called setosa one is called versicolor and one is called virginica uh, in this data set what happens is if you just say let's say iris head iris so it has um four predictors sepal length sepal width uh, petal length and petal width these four based on these four phenotype uh, can you say which species the flower belongs to okay so what we i have done here i for different colors setosa versicolor and virginica i have given different color for different species i have now add different color so now if you go to head eyelash so you will see that uh, in along with that let me just yeah so now this is a new column that last column is a new column for setosa i had blue versicolor i have given red and uh Virginica I given green <laughs> now if I now if you run this piece of code I just plotting from iris data set I'm just taking the sepal length and sepal width I'm just extracting it and giving it as a x value and y values and if you run this plot then you got this plot you want you can give a grid also so uh you can see these are like blue or setosa we have given blue as setosa reds are red points are all versicolor and the green points are virginica now what i have done in that uh data set i have created a one hot encoding for setosa if it is setosa then it will have a zero or it is one so for all it is zero but whenever it will find setosa it will get a one otherwise it will be zero so now the data set let me just uh, let me just show you how the data set look likes now irish okay so let me just yeah so first few values are setosa and then when it is virgin color it is it is coded as zero when it is virginica this is coded as zero okay and the column name is setosa so that's how i created a one hot encoding or binary um, class variable sometimes it's called indicator variable so let me run the model glm setosa as a function of sepal width data equal to iris you give family equal to binomial link equal to logit and if you run summary fit then this is the fit that you will get uh, if you run the beta you can from the fit you can extract the coefficients now in the beta I have the coefficient now what I'm going to do I'm going to calculate uh, create a x matrix with 100 values with which x2 takes values with minimum value of sepal width to maximum value of sepal width so if you just run it so minimum is I think 2.2 is the minimum and max is the 4.4 and in between 
it just fill up with some values in an equal uh, width and then I calculate the eta these are the eta values or z values latent variable values and then I calculate the probability and, and then I plot the x2 versus sepal width versus uh, sorry about that sepal width versus the probability of setosa so if the sepal width increases clearly probability that the flower is setosa increases so you can put a grid also in this so that's how we uh, this is that's how we can you can draw probability of p you can plot p against some um, predictor values so i'll stop here but this id's data set shows you that your target variable could be not necessarily has to be binary class it could be multi-class variable and then in that case you have to use you have a multi-class classification because you have three class here remember that you have to do three class not binary class you have a setosa versinica, uh, versicolor and virginica three subspecies are there when you have more than two class basically it is a k-class problem or multi-class problem the most popular and the old and old tested method is linear discriminant analysis so in the next video we are going to start uh, linear discriminant analysis or fisher's linear discriminant analysis so for now thank you very much for your attention see you in the next video